What is up guys, it's Cal, and in this video we're going to do a bit of an experiment. So as you see right here, I have five of these, uh, what are they called, Paragon chests? They're the Exalted Supply Chests. How you get these, just in case you were unaware, is once you get Exalted with Reputations from Legion, you can get Reputation past Exalted, and that will give you these uh, reward chests. And each of them, except for this one, has a chance to drop a mount. Now the Armies of the Legion Fall one has a chance to drop a Battle Pet. So there's uh, seven of them total here, and I have five. The ones I left out were the Armies of the Legion Fall and um, the Dream Reaper, just, just because. Now the whole point of this is that I'm on the PTR right now, and I'm going to open these chests and kind of see a very, very rough percentage chance of me getting the um, mounts. Like if I get a mount, then that's one, and I'm going to do it 20 times. So then we can get to 100. I was thinking about doing all seven chests, uh, but 7 obviously doesn't go into 100. It does, however, go into 105, but 100 is just an easier number to ride off of. And um, the Armies of the Legion Fall one, the pet, like I assume all of these have the same percentage chance of dropping their mount. I don't know, I, like, I left the Armies of the Legion Fall one out because they it might be a higher chance of getting the pet because pets are kind of more common than mounts. Uh, so I left that one out and I just left the Dream River one out because I don't have that one currently. So I got the first five. Now I do say this is like a very, very rough uh, representation of what the percentage would be because technically, uh, statistically speaking, it wouldn't be accurate until unless I did this 4,000 times. Well, not exactly 4,000 times. More like 800 times. So I would open up 4,000 chests because uh, statistics aren't really accurate unless you were to have 4,000 data samples. But no one's got time for that. So once I open up, like if I open up all 100 of these chests and I get like five mounts, it doesn't exactly mean that, it, that it's a 5% drop chance. But we're doing it anyway because it's fun. So uh, let's get started. Uh, by the way, just in case, well, okay, here is coin. Just in case uh, you were curious of how I'm doing this exactly, I, I don't know if I already explained it, but I would, I'm going to keep copying my character over to the PTR. And each of the Paragon chests, by the way, in 7.2.5 give a curious coin. I don't think they have a 100% drop chance in live. Not 100% sure on that, but we'll be able to tell at the end um, because the last one will be like an actual opening on the live server. But anyways, I didn't get anything there. Got some gold, got some resources, got curious coins, no mounts. So let's, let's keep going. 19 more times to go. Nope. Nope. Nope, are you kidding me? There we go. Lay woven flying carpet. Nope. Nope. 
Okay, so here we are on live. I haven't had much luck, but these are the last five chests. Please get them out. No. Wow. Okay. So, okay, we can also tell here, got no curious coins. So, you can save up your Paragon chests uh, for curious coins when the patch hits. But yeah, out of 100, I got one mount. So that's a 1%. I don't know. Uh, needless to say, they're rare. So that's the entire video, guys. Uh, I just felt like doing this because I thought it was a little fun, a little fun experiment. But uh, if this video was helpful to you guys, if you liked it at all, you can leave a like on it. You can sub to the channel for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video.